Hey, hi, hello guys. So good morning. So I've had a few people on TikTok ask me if I could give some salon owners or some new stylists any kind of advice, what would it be? So I decided today I was gonna come and share with you guys five tips that I think all hair salon owners and hairstylists should do starting now, okay? So let's get into it. Okay, tip number one, share your knowledge. A lot of salon owners particularly feel like if they train other stylists, then they'll take all that knowledge and leave. And then they've shared all this information and gain nothing. But that to me is furthest from the truth. When you share knowledge with other stylists, especially the new stylists, that is our way of paying it forward that is our way of sharing knowledge and wealth and helping people to have better opportunities in this beauty industry. Also, it allows people in to the fold of your business. If you have been a hairstylist for 17 years, then when you share your 17 years of knowledge, that frees you from having to do every single thing in your business. If I teach a new stylist how to shampoo, blow dry, how to apply color, then that's something I don't have to do in my business. And I can make some money while she makes some money and learn something new, lightening my load and encouraging the next generation of stylists. Sharing knowledge does not always mean that someone will leave. It means that you are empowering them to start on their own journey. We don't want to keep these people forever in our salons. So we need to encourage and empower them to have their own and sharing knowledge allows them to do that. Number two, as a stylist and as a salon owner, but particularly as a stylist, you do need to treat your clients with a level of respect and value and importance. Without your clients, there would be no business. Without your clients, you couldn't be a hairstylist. You would have no styling to style. You'd have no people to service. In today's time, I see a lot of hairstylists be very the word I'm looking for, full of themselves. You feel that your service is so irreplaceable that those clients that you treat poorly will, will never leave. I do her hair the best. I'm the best in my city. She can't go nowhere else. People will downgrade in quality to get better service. Trust me. And as a salon owner, when you start feeling like you are above speaking to clients in your salon, you are above shampooing hair. I'm the, the owner, I don't do that. What you do is you put yourself in a position to where your clients are going to feel that you think that you are better than them. And that is furthest from the truth. Please remember, without clients and customers, we have no business. Value your clients and your customers and value them as an intricate part in your business. Without them, there is no you. Right, tip number three. Tip number three, my biggest tip in developing a stylist is to never be afraid to learn, never be afraid to ask questions. Even after being a hairstylist for 17 years, I still know I don't know everything. I still will take a class. I still will ask questions. I'm still watching other people's YouTube and other people's TikTok and Instagram videos because you are always a student. You are always learning. The moment that you decide you have nothing else to learn, that is the moment that your business and your skill set could definitely die off. And we don't want that. So regardless if you are a one year stylist or a 20 year stylist, always strive to learn new techniques, new customer service skills, new business methods. You can always improve your business in some way. So always be a student, always be learning. Tip number four, treat your business how you want your clients to treat your business. 
The number one complaint that I hear and I see all over social media today is stylists are always late. They charged me a deposit and then they canceled and now they won't give me my deposit back. They overbooked and I was in the salon for seven hours when I only should have been there three and now I'm late picking my kids up. When you as the stylist do, do not follow your own requirements, we want these stylists, excuse me, we want these clients to be on time, but you're late. You want them to be patient, but you are rushing them and you got an attitude. You want them off the phone so they're not distracted and moving their head while they get service, but you're on the phone. Whatever rules you expect your clients to follow, those are the rules you need to follow. Period, point blank, not up for discussion. And tip number five, remember that we are in this business to help people. We are in this business to make people feel cared for to make them look beautiful. Yes, we are also in this business to make a little bit of coin. Yes, we wanna be paid. But when people only feel like a dollar to you, they don't feel valued. They feel rushed. They don't feel like their concerns or their needs are cared for and handled and prioritized. So learn to be more personable. Even if you are only there to get your coin, they should never know that. Learn to be personable. Learn and realize that we are in a service-based hospitality type industry. We are in a business where we are selling a service, but the service also has to come with a side of customer service. Do not treat your client like, I did your hair, now get out. That's not okay. I've heard horror stories of clients going into salons to get three, four, five hour service and the stylist never speak to them. Outside of, so we doing braids today? Okay, sit down. And you sit there for three, four, five hours with no conversation, no check-in. Do you need anything? Are you okay? And that is what makes these clients feel like they are only a dollar to you. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna feel like the only thing that you care about me is my money. Nobody wants that. So go be great. Take these tips, apply them to where they are applicable and do great things in your business. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Hi guys. Bye guys. Y'all have a good day.